Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for coming back again to watch my shit. For the last couple of weeks, you guys would have seen that I've been to Kmart a whole bunch. Welcome to the madness. We'll start off, I guess, in the makeup section because I think that's the smallest. To get a little bit of sidetracked. Yeah, so we'll jump in straight away. I have these makeup beauty blenders. If you don't know where these are in the beauty section, you can find them, I think, pretty much right next to all like the nail stuff. So I love is in the same section. I got this BYS brush cleaner tray. I started using this new method where you use a little bit of dishwashing liquid, a vinegar, a vegetable oil, and boiling water. But I just want to put it in a makeup tray rather than ruining my good like baking bowls, like all that sort of stuff. Like I have mixing bowls that I was using and I just don't want to ruin them every time. This one, or you can use micellar water. I know I've seen a lot of people use micellar water, but obviously that's quite expensive to just tip into a tray. So <laughs> that is another method, but I just got this. It's like a little side silicon tray and it's got these little grooves on the inside. I don't know if you can pick that up on camera. These wicked little grooves and you just brush your brush along them so that it, you know, gets in all the bristles there and gets all the junk out of your brushes so that is item number two while i was in the bys section of the makeup area i found this cute little palette you have a lot of their um foil tin foil palettes but i think some of the colors in the pans are becoming quite repetitive i did see was this cute little palette here it's like a shimmers range and it's the where they've got like all the little basic palettes at the bottom i think this was only seven dollars totally see the shimmers in each pigment of the colors oh is childproof obviously i've already swatched a few of the colors it's just so nice like to see how beautiful the colors pick up at such an affordable price and striking shades range it's just written on the back there in the bys cosmetics range when i was in the accessories range you guys would have seen in my last haul that i bought a whole bunch of these scrunchies i'm actually wearing one right now but yeah, super comfy. You can tie them more than a couple of times, especially if you have thick, long hair like myself. The yellow satin scrunchie, I keep going back for the satin ones now because they just don't tug on my hair when I pull out my hair. Yeah, definitely super stretchy. You can definitely go like more than a few times with these ones. I think I've got this one in three goes today. But yeah, I'm really loving like the bright yellows at the moment. I wear like a lot of like darker colors to work. I don't know why, but lately I'm in like a stone gray color phase at the moment to match it with like a bright scrunchie. So that with like a bit of gray and I would have my gray vans and it came with this like burnt orange color, which is really cute. It just kind of goes with my eye color at the moment. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, this one's super thick and scrunchy. Um, and it's very satin looking. And it's got this like a little ribbed effect going through the fabric there, if you can see that. The next section I went into was the, the homeware section. So I actually went and got these dispensers. Got them put in every room so that all I have to do is refill it with like Dettol. Or, you can, or I can even buy like a cheaper one, a liquid soap. And just refill it with that one there. It says wash on here. It actually came with like a matching one that says uh, rinse. And it has like a toothbrush holder and stuff like that. And then there's a soap caddy that matches it as well. But I just got three of these. One for each bathroom and one in the kitchen. And it matches like all the stuff that we have around it anyway. So yeah, really cute. I went in to look for more oil scents for our diffusers and then I did see that they had other diffusers on sale. Not the same one as that I got as I got last time, but ever since we've gotten that one, I've wanted one in the living room and the bedroom just because they smell so good. So I decided to get another one. This is the stone gray one. It's very similar to the one that I have. It has the three settings. You can click the light on it on and off on this side and then on here you can set it to one hour two hours three hours it comes off you lift the canister up fill the water up to a certain point like it says here where to fill it up to you put your oil drops in canister back on the casing back on and then you click your option that how long you want to set it for and then like the little steam just kind of pops up there but it's so cute. I have that running in the bedroom now because it smells so good and it matches our decor in there better. And then while I was there, they had the three packs were back of the essential oils, which is really cool. When I went to look, they had this little three pack. I think it was three for $9 of the citrus range. This one is the grapefruit in the essential oil. This one is the lemon flavor. This one is the tangerine, which almost smells identical to the sweet orange. But yeah, I'm not mad about it because I really like that flavor as well. I'm very happy I found those because they do last a while. My other bottles have lasted so long. It's just nice to have like a select range to choose from when I'm cleaning the house. One afternoon, me and Jamie found a tall boy drawer set outside our neighbor's house. We asked if we could take it. 
she said, yep, no problem. We asked if there was anything wrong with it. And she said there wasn't. It's this really strange, like off, not dark, but not light wood color. So it kind of doesn't really go with anything in our bedroom. So I decided would contact it with the vinyl sets that you can find in the stationery section. This is actually a vinyl adhesive. You can get it in like four different colors. Um, you can get it in like a coastal white wood. You can get it in a dark wood. You can get it in a black marble and a white marble. I wanted to decorate the top of the drawer so they look nicer. I have a few nice candles on top, but it kind of didn't really look like full and nice and complete. So I decided to get this cute little greenery piece, terranium um, glass jars, and it's got the black stones down the bottom with the fake aloe vera leaves in it. I, don't, I think they're aloe vera leaves. <laughs> Don't quote me on it. It's very heavy. It's very of quality. That's what the bottom looks like. All the stones are like super glued in. So, you know, if you've got kids or anything like that, they're not going to spill everywhere. But yeah, it definitely looks real lifelike. And I just sort of look really cute on the white. And I have a black little candle here and a pink one. So it looks kind of cute in the corner of my drawer set. So yeah. I saw someone mention this in the Kmart Hacks page Australia. I think it's the most amazing creative page and the admins on there are so funny. I saw someone buy this and I didn't actually know Kmart stock so it's something that I've been looking for for quite some time to sort of help my space that I didn't know I needed. I don't know why but I think I'm pretty sure and I've told Jamie this that I'm pretty sure a man designed our house. Our walk-in master robe is the size of a dunny and there's just one bar one shell it is ridiculous like you cannot fit anything in there properly like i couldn't fit my whole wardrobe in there and i don't even have that many clothes but this is a double hang closet rod i don't know if you can see how that works but basically it's got these little hooks at this end which hook from the top rod and go down the bottom and then it has another extra rod so you've got your big rod hanging all your clothes and then underneath there's a whole nother roll of clothes to hang which is going to change my life. However, I have heard stories of people hanging things too heavy on these and then it bringing down the whole top rod. So my aim is to hang all my singlets, my shirts. I'm going to hang all the heavy stuff on top. Yeah, I'm super excited about this purchase. I can't wait to install it. I'll probably vlog about it in time lapse and show you guys how I end up organizing my wardrobe. But this baby was only $8. So definitely search for that one in Kmart if you are lacking space in your wardrobe or need that extra rod double hang closet rod eight dollars i've been looking for something that kind of like is cost effective <laughs> to vlog from in my car that i can kind of clip anywhere around the house i've always wanted one of these but they've always been sold out every time i go to look for them they were finally available in my local store so i'll show you an example of what this does but basically this is a tablet holder it extends out to here or a 10 inch tab you can have it facing that way or that way or you can put your smartphone in it this is strong enough and durable enough to hold my canon gx7 it also is really good for when i put it on the treadmill because i don't have a very new treadmill it's kind of old got like an industrial clamp clip this on the outside of my treadmill and i have this part holding my phone so i can like watch stuff play on facebook instagram watch youtube while i'm on the treadmill but most importantly this is for vlogging so that i can do stuff in front of the camera like cooking cleaning driving in my car and talk to my camera without holding my phone or my camera so i'm gonna clip this to the table right now it just clamps on like that and adjust the head to however you want it to so that's it right there i can swivel it around if i want to but i'm gonna have it facing me because obviously i want to vlog and then there i am so yeah definitely a good investment and so that you know i can move around the room and clean and cook and do the things that i need to without you know compromising my body and you know like hanging onto a camera 24 7 because your arm does get kind of tired when you're carrying big cameras like this around 24 7 but definitely a good investment to make um if you're looking for one of these they are in the electronic section we'll see how we go but i really like this so far i've been using it on my treadmill every evening it distracts me so i don't think about the fitness side too much and i've also been having it clipped to the kitchen bench you know while i'm cooking and stuff like that so yeah definitely really cool we will get through this all, I promise, guys. Um, Kmart have these really cool pastel color highlighters, which aren't so full on. I'm in mean, like a cool little blue shade, pink, pastel green, and a nice lilac color. I'll just quickly highlight something so I can show you guys. That is like how bright it comes out. Definitely worth the purchase. Also got these gel pens. They, they look like ballpoint pens, but they're actually gel pens. 
in silicon casing. Like anytime I'm looking for a pen, I cannot find one. So I'm going to take some in to work. Back on track, we're going to go to the fitness section. I have been recently got, jumping on the treadmill. Every afternoon, I decided to get some new leggings and some crops and just a shirt. I have heard really good things about these ones. These are the Studio Performance um, leggings from Kmart. A thick band around the waist, which is high-waisted. So apparently this is really good for core performance. It sucks your belly in. And the good thing I've heard about these ones is it has the pockets on the side. And these are long length. They go right down your ankles. I'm going to try these out. I'm definitely thinking about doing a wearing... Kmart workout gear for a week and working out in it video. Ended up getting these in the maroon because I've been really loving this color lately. Again, with the same pockets on the side, got the studio performance tag on the side there. Double wall panel belly and in full length. I spotted these leggings and this crop set and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna try those on and see how I go. So I got these in full length leggings. This is the Everlast. It's got this little foiled like Everlast logo on the side there, which is quite pretty in the light. Quite thick fabric too, so it's not as see-through as leggings I've bought in the past from their range. It's got the double wall paneled belly area. It's not as high-waisted as I'd like it to be like the other one from the Kmart range, but it sucks everything into where I need it to be. Of these, it's a cute pattern. There was a matching crop, um, but like I said in the past, I bought their crops and they just haven't been very supportive. They didn't have any padding. And it's got this annoying like thick elastic around the front, which kind of agitates like my midriff area. I got this one here, like a matching gray color. And then around the back there, it's got the super thick crossover straps, which I always find are really supportive rather than like tiny thin straps all over. It's like a seamless sort of finish rather than like a hard line around your shoulder. So it's not going to dig into your shoulder line. But yeah, these ones are super padded. So for those girls with like a bit big, bigger bust area, this is going to be what you need for a workout. That's the back area there. And this is the front. So it doesn't cut down too far, so it's not like your cleavage is hanging out when you're doing like sprint starts or anything like that, or you know, planking. I find this really supportive. So I do actually have another one of these already, so I knew it would be comfortable. But I just thought getting something like this over the one in the Everlast range was going to be a little bit more supportive for me. And I thought it was cute because it's grey, and then this is grey, and it kind of went together, like matched with the pink straps around the back. So yeah. One more item that I got in the fitness area is this cute Everlast shirt. It's that stretchy, beautiful cotton that's nice and lightweight, dries really fast. I thought this was really cute because it has the gold foil print because it matches the other leggings that I got. So if I don't want to just wear like a straight crop and leggings and I'm feeling a bit self-conscious but I still want to look cute, that's my go. I also thought this would be cute just as a regular shirt, not just a workout shirt. I'm going to leave the fitness section without a pink shirt or a pink hoodie of some sort. I really wanted to get the pink hoodie, but I stopped myself, so. <laughs> I do have my good old faithful ASICs that I've had for about 12 years. They're just as blue as the day I bought them. I think I spent about $240 on them and they have not faded, they have not peeled, the rubber hasn't fallen back at all one bit. But, you know, like I said, I wanted a fresh start with my fitness range. I will still probably wear them, like if I'm going on like longer walks or runs or exercising or training heavier. Just for the treadmill, I just wanted something a bit different, so I decided to get these from the Everlast range as well. These are those cool like all-in-one soft shoes. Like you just put your foot in and it kind of just slides in. I don't even know why they have laces on the front because they're kind of irrelevant. Just literally pull this up to get your heel in and it's so soft. Feels like a sock at the toe bit, like it's just very comfortable go with most of the outfits that i've bought from kmart as well so yeah very happy with those for the price that they are and they're very comfortable we found a few dog walking tracks over the start of covid in our area ended up finding like this random park near our place that has like a basketball hoop netball court tennis racket court dirt bike jumping area <laughs> it's just an all-in-one it's so funny so we've been taking like this five dollar basketball down from kmart and playing basketball together like in the afternoons when he's home and we noticed one day they had a tennis court so we we're like oh like we really enjoyed tennis a while ago so we decided to get some tennis racket i think these are kids they're like yeah there it is right there <laughs> like nine to ten years but you know we just want to play for fun they're lightweight, comfort grip, and they're super bouncy. So we thought we'd take these down to the tennis courts and have some fun with it. 
We got these balls just because they're a little bit better, like they bounce better rather than the cheap Kmart ones. Probably lose them in like two goes, but you know, it's good fun just going down there and throwing a ball about. There were cheaper ones there for $5 and there was like more in a pack, but yeah, better bounce. There's nothing worse than playing tennis and you get like a bunch of cheap tennis balls and they like bounce like half a meter high and then they just roll off onto the ground. You're like, ah! <laughs> trying to chase after it and it's like rolling on the ground. You're like scrambling to get it. That's me. My dogs tend to eat my socks. I'm going to say dog in, you know, general. It's just the one boss, not naming any names. Choose my socks like crazy and it's so annoying because I wear like really low, um, like no show invisible socks for work with my vans. I used to buy them from work because they're fairly cheap, but we haven't been getting them in lately. I've been going to Kmart. They sell them in various colors and they are called the casual sneaker cotton three pack. You can get these in packs of three for two dollars fifty is insane they are so comfortable they stay out the entire time the elastic does not wear i get them in cute little um pink colors that's what it is it's a, just a super low ankle sock sorry there's fluff on these guys i've already been wearing the heck out of them and i've got about 20 pairs of them and they're so cheap they're just super comfortable super cheap to replace and yeah two dollars fifty for three pack i'm there any day any day of the week send me these socks i'm done Okay, I'm going to get out of the weird zone of Kmart now and get back to the normal last purchase that I'm going to throw on the table. But this is the poppy blanket and it matches the pillows, the cushions that I bought in the last haul. I thought this would be super cute to throw at the end of the bed. Where boss can lay on it and not destroy the blanket or the quilt that we have currently on the bed. He likes to lay on the fluffy one anyway. So lay on top of this and it looks kind of cute at the bottom. It's actually quite a decent size. Oh, I just hit myself in the face of the blanket. But, you know, I don't mind because it's so cute. It's so big not big enough to cover your entire size um bed like a quilt sort of doona blanket it's a good like throw over like on the lounge to keep your leg warm or you know have it at the end of your bed sort of blanket it's nice and fluffy dries fast every time i wash it and it matches the cushions that i have so very happy with that if you guys have loved this haul, please give this video a massive thumbs up. It really means the world to me. If you'd like to see more of my videos, click that notification bell on the side of the subscribe button so you get notified every time I upload. Please check out more of my YouTube videos. I have more Kmart hauls on my channel and hopefully I will see you again next time. See you guys in the next video. Bye!